Nevada Virtual Academy, we are back. Another problem for proficiency exam or SAT, ACT. 15. M, N, and P are three consecutive positive odd integers such that M is less than N, less than P. If their sum is 45, what is the value of M, P? Okay, the product of M and P. How should we solve problems involving consecutive positive integers? Consecutive odd integers. I almost missed that. Be careful with that, okay? I mean, guys, if you want a simple example of that, just think about 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and so on, right? These are consecutive odd integers. To get from 1 to 3, what are you adding? You're adding 2, right? To get from 3 to 5, you're adding 2. 5 to 7, you're adding 2, you're adding 2. Okay? Which means if somewhere down the road, I will have a number, I don't know, let's say N. The one that was before N, and in this case we can say M, right? To get from M to N, I will just add 2. And probably I should use a different color. I should add 2. From N to the next one, which let's say for the heck of this problem is called P, I will add 2 to N and I will get P. So basically, M is nothing else but your N. N minus 2 units, right? And P will be your number N plus two units, N being the one in the middle, right? Because M is less than N, which N is less than P. So now your three numbers are actually what? N minus two, N, and N plus two. And if you add all these three numbers, because I'm trying to find their sum, right? Which is given, 45. Adding all these three numbers, I'm getting what? n plus n plus n will be 3n minus 2 plus 2 will be nothing and it seems to me that 3n 3 times n equals 45 to find n you will divide by 3 which tells you that the middle number n 3 divided by 3 is 1 n should be equal to what 45 divided by 3 gives you 15 is that an odd number yes so we're good the middle number is 15. What will be M? Well, M is our middle number, N minus 2, which is 13. What is the other number? Well, the other number, T, is our middle number, N plus 2, which is 17. What I have to find? I have to find what is the product, M times P, which is actually... 13 times 17 and you don't even have to to perform this multiplication because all you have to do is to check what is 7 times 3 well 7 times 3 is going to be 21 so my number ends in 1 okay obviously it's not 30 it's not 90 because when you multiply odd integers their product is also going to be an odd number, so I know for sure that e is not also is not a good um, is not a good number either, right? So I have to choose between 195 and 221. But what I said, seven times three is one, so my last digit better be one. And you know, I can tell you it's 221. If you don't believe me, go ahead. 17 times 13, three times seven, 21, three times one. 3 plus 2, 5, right? 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 1, 1. If you add them, you have 1. 5 plus 7 is going to be 12, right? 1 carries over, 2, 2, 21. Yes, we're good. And I knew that's the answer for the reason I've uh, already explained. Okay? So this is one one way to um, solve this type of problem remember if you have consecutive positive odd or even integers the difference between them is going to be two all the time 
if you have co just consecutive positive integers, the difference between them is going to be what? Right? I'm saying 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the difference? 1, right? If it's just consecutive positive integers, the difference is 1. If it's odd or even integers consecutive, the difference is 2. That's a very important, uh, you know, detail here. Otherwise, you should be good. Thank you, guys.